Welcome to Kulik Family Farm. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow along with part two of the second week of our pantry challenge. Hello, everybody. Someone had asked me to make a meal plan and post recipes using what we had gotten from our January haul from Ruby's Pantry. And I will get to that. I promise I will. But we have so many leftovers. It's a confession time. Number one, I am sitting in my kid's closet because it's the only place in our house that's quiet. And number two, I have a problem with making too much food each time I cook. My husband can't eat enough leftovers to use everything up. And so I put it in the freezer and then it sits there because I love cooking. And then I forget that it's in there. So here's what I did this week for our meal planning. After going through all of our freezers, I wrote down everything that I found in there that I considered to be a leftover and how many quantities there were. I took this list and I'm not very good at making decisions. So I asked my husband to help me on what was something that he would eat based off of using things up in our freezer. That's our goal is to clear out as much as we can out of the freezer this week for leftovers so I can get my containers back and cleaned. After I came up with a game plan of what we were going to have for each day, I got out my notebook. Yes, it says 2016 and it is not 2016. I wrote down each day and I looked at what I would need to take out of the freezer the day before. So yesterday I took out the Polish sausages, the leftover container of chili, I found cheddar cheese shreds, and I was looking for hot dog buns. I luckily found hot dog buns. So I pulled that and the two containers of the beef roast out of the freezer and set it out Saturday night so they were thawed and ready to go for me to make on Sunday. So I did that for every single day. What I would need to pull off each meal. This goes on to the next page. And hopefully... That makes sense. So you want to, if you're using things up in your freezer, make an inventory of what you have. That's easiest. Look at your schedule. On my schedule, I wrote the kids are going to be home. I'm sorry, this is chicken scratch. It's very hard to do with a dry erase marker. So with my kids being home, I made a special note to make cookies. So that's something that we're gonna do that's fun this week. I do have some leftover cookie dough that's in the freezer that we made too much of and the kids got sick of making out the cookies with it, so I just froze the rest. Fill those things in. If you have a day that you know you're going to be busy at night, make a crock pot meal, then it's easier to dish out. If you know that you're going to be home all day long to make an elaborate meal, maybe you want to give yourself some notes on step-by-step -step what you need to do for the process at what time. You know, if you can cook things ahead of time and then just reheat them at dinner time. That works really well for us too. Hopefully that helps. Jumping right into this, today's menu was chili cheese dogs. So I pulled out my chili and warmed it up. Some of the kids wanted to have the chili on the side, so I gave them their Polish hot dog and some of them wanted to have the chili on top. This was for dinner. It was beef roast with gravy and carrots. Good morning. So I have already fallen behind on my prepping list. I made this list of all the things that I was supposed to pull out on Sunday. Today is Monday morning and I didn't do it last night. So I looked through our fridge and saw what else we needed to get. And this is my grocery shopping basket of things that I got from the basement. So we were almost out of cottage cheese. We had gotten this from Ruby's pantry. So I grabbed the second one that was downstairs in our basement refrigerator. The coffee creamer got used up this morning, so I grabbed our spare. This is opening up. Oh. Um, the kids are almost out of milk, so I pulled that. And we were going to make cookies today, so I grabbed butter from the freezer. This was the little bit of leftover peanut butter cookie dough that I pulled from the freezer for today. Um, also on my list was to pull applesauce, which is right here. 
and I'm going to make the macaroni and cheese. So I needed some cheese, which is in here, just reusing the container. And then for dinner, I had just a little bit of this chicken and potato casserole. And so we're going to mix it with the turkey casserole and call it a meal. Using two things up, getting my containers back and getting them out of the freezer. We are prepping our macaroni and cheese. And so I had one of these thawed in the refrigerator. We got these from Ruby's Pantry a while back and they are just little two ounce Wisconsin Swiss cheese triangles. So one of them was refrigerated, the other one was frozen. I pulled it from the freezer. Professional tip for you here. It is significantly easier to grate them when they are frozen. So here is four ounces of Swiss cheese, which is very, very mild, and I like it. Um, this is a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese that was left over from when we did the chili cheese dogs. Was that yesterday? Yes, I think that was yesterday. Inside here is mild cheddar cheese that we got from Sam's Club that I just refilled this jar with. Um, I have extra here that I have thawed. Greg had some on, well, I say thawed, but it's clearly still frozen. Greg had some on his french fries last night and he liked that. He also likes it with um, Dorito chips or Dorito-esque chips. So we're going to start making our macaroni and cheese. When I make the macaroni and cheese, I cook the noodles a little less than you normally would because they will continue to cook in the oven. And you want to make sure that you have extra liquid in there. We used skim milk. These were all of the items that we used up making this dish. And here is the final product. I served this for the kids with some orange slices and um, cut up slices of pepper. And then we used up the last of the peanut butter cookie dough. It only made nine cookies, but I cooked those in the oven at the same time as the macaroni to save on the energy. We had gotten some of this non-dairy coffee creamer and I'm gonna give it a shot using it as a replacement for milk in our steel cut oats because we are running low on milk and I don't wanna go to the grocery store. I'll let you know how it works out. I thought that this turned out amazing. It was very creamy, very smooth, tasted, I would say exactly the same as it does using milk in our oatmeal. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along with part two of our second week of the pantry challenge.